G'day guys, Billy here. Well, heading off on another scrap run today, guys. The old Dumby Young pub's getting all renovated. So we're heading off uh, another big scrap run today, guys. And we're going to Pinger up. Then Nibing, possibly. After Nibing, we'll go to Cookran. And we'll come back to the Dumby Young rubbish dump right now. Someone's heading out to the rubbish dump now, and I know the farmer, and he's doing it. This farmer, he has uh, apparently just sold his farm. You know, he's been doing a big clear out of his old houses and stuff. And the other day, I found something what he threw out a beautiful old um, chemist thermometer with Dunwood Young chemists on it. Really old guys, probably from the 1940s already been offered a hundred dollars for it. Really old because the phone number is 304 and the numbers aren't that little anymore. They're about buddy nine numbers these days. So anyway guys we're gonna go straight to Pingrup and then we'll come back. We'll go through Niving onto Pingrup and we'll come back from Pingrup and drop off at the Niving rubbish dump. And maybe some of that nice wood still there. We'll soon find out. And if I'm in the mood, if it's not too late, we'll go to uh, the cook and rubbish dump. Okay, guys, let's go. G'day, guys. Well, we're at the Pinger Up rubbish dump, so let's hope we find some goodies. So, uh, as you know, I'm after some trash and treasure scrap and also gardening stuff, guys. I'm after some nice gardening containers and so forth so well there could be some goodies here guys i did put it, those air cons to one side they're still there from last time and we'll see if we can get some goodies so i'll put those big air cons right there in the back of my trailer those ones oh beautiful exactly what i need guys this is amazing this you know my scrapping because it just provides so much for me i'm not joking guys like that these cages here this is exactly what i need guys for my garden i've got those these plastic containers they're chemical drums you can see them over there guys they're farm chemical drums but these this cage here is exactly what i need that one right there so it just goes to show you guys like there's another one there what i might take a little one but you know, all this scrapping and relic hunting and it just provides so much for me guys. Not just scrap metal and trash and treasure, but just stuff for my garden, clothes, food. Look at this beautiful milk crates guys, exactly what I need for my antique bottles. Those. So I'll grab them. I love finding the milk crates. Nice little lesky there. Like I say, clothes, guys. I find that many good clothes. Like what I'm wearing now. I'm wearing a nice pair of Levi's. What I found at the rubbish dump. It's extrusion aluminium down there. That's a glass that I cut myself on last time. I don't know. It's more or less impossible to grab. But anyway. So, look at that. Beautiful milk crates there for my bottles and storage. So anyway, guys. We'll grab those milk crates. There's quite a few of them. And that cage, the radiators, and we'll see what else is here, fellas. I'm sure we'll find some good stuff. If not here, definitely back at the Nibing rubbish dump. Like okay, even this, guys, an old mop container. You know, this type of stuff here. That one's stuff, but that's just an example. You know, I've found really good mop containers and much more. So let's keep, let's go, fellas. We'll pick up these milk crates and see what other goodies are around. fellas so we're heading back to Nibing now I've scored a few things a little bit of scrap and a uh, few things in the garden those cages and that so we're gonna stop off, off some patches of bush as well guys this time last time I couldn't do it because my car was blowing up so we'll, uh, there's a few patches of bush around this area and we'll see how we go anyway right here we can't see it but 
a baby fox and its mother fox has been killed by a car and just run over the top of them. All right, let's go. I'm looking for old bottle dumps and I haven't had much luck. There's a nice old bottle here. I'll take that one guys, it's a nice green colour, unfortunately it's a screw top, but that's beautiful old bottle, I haven't got one of those. It's definitely quite old. One pint, yep. Probably 1960s guys, but there's a few bottles around here I can see, but nothing too old by the looks of it. It's a nice cordial bottle here. Nice cordial bottle, guys. It's a Lemos cordial bottle. I'll take that one. Screw top again. I don't like screw tops, guys, but still, it's a nice bottle. More down there. We'll keep looking. Fellas, not much luck looking for bottles today. Got a few more dirt tracks to go down guys, but anyway, we're just about to arrive to the diving rubbish dump. I drove past earlier on and all that wood's still there. So anyway, let's hope we find some goodies. We might grab some more of that wood for my front yard fence and garden and so forth. It's beautiful wood guys, I can't believe no one's taken it. It looks like there's more. Someone is taking it. Someone's there. Someone's taking it by the looks of it. But there's been more dump there, guys, I think. Hello, fellas, so it's good to see anyway. At least someone's taking some of that beautiful wood. But look at this, guys. Some goodies here. We'll see what we can find, eh? A nice Tonka truck here. Nice Tonka truck. Plastic. Oh no, it's metal. There you are. It's not that old, but guys. Anyway, we'll see what's here. Oh shit, what's that, guys? What's that? That looks like to, oh, sort of seat or an antique bathtub or something. I thought it was an enamel bathtub, I think it's a shit. That could be, that is an old sink there, guys, that big white thing. Let's get down there, eh? Have a look. We're back at the, my hometown rubbish dump, the Dumbion rubbish dump. Let's see if there's any goodies there, guys. I picked up a heap of wood. Could be a few things over there. Oh well, we'll start off with the household waste section first. There's nice speakers there, what I found, guys, and I've just put them there for someone to pick up. Anyway, there's nice speakers there. We'll see what else is over here. Look at all this stuff, guys. Like I say, that farmer is doing a big clear out, guys. Look at these beautiful old books. Oh, it's amazing. Some really old ones, guys. Really old ones. Comics, possibly. In there. Some good stuff, fellas. We'll have a look, eh? Aluminium door there. Nice big tarp. Tarp hole, guys. Exactly what I need, too, fellas. Cover up all my wood. All right, let's go for this stuff, eh? Just did some a uh, tour, guys, of a local museum, the Wajin Historical Museum. Look, here's a 1970, guys. Wonder if I can find a 1971 one. That's when I was born. My uh, birth. And I just might be in there. So they're very collectible, guys. And the old woman's weekly magazines here. Look at that. We'll go through them and pick out the good ones. And there's going to be some good stuff in here, guys. Some goodie stuff. 
Might find some old stuff with stamps on them, letters, look at that, old stamps. Very, very collectible guys. Beautiful, look at all this stuff, it's all collectible guys, all collectible. Awesome, oh look at that. Look at that guys, full of letters with stamps on them. You take them, eh? G'day guys, I'm just out the local rubbish dump doing a bit of scrapping. I found a heap of really old magazines, newspapers, stamps, and there's more stuff under here guys. But anyway, just pulled this out, a old Chrysler Panoramic 17 TV. Is it collectible guys? I don't really want it. It's uh, in pretty good condition, except for that little bit on the bottom, just there. But that could easily be glued back, but... I don't know for any of those telephone, I mean TV collectors, it's a very unusual TV. Uh, let me know what you think, is it worth taking? Uh, but anyway guys, I'll leave it here. I don't know what year it would be. Chrysler Panoramic 17 solid state TV. So, let me know what you think guys. Anyway, I'll continue going through this stuff. Really old stuff guys you'll see the video soon oh, I don't really want these ones but they're probably very collectible 1970 all these are but there's good stuff in here guys good stuff in here really old newspapers and collectible collectible stuff here all right guys we'll continue sorting through this stuff you'll see the video soon see ya another TV over here this one's that one so guys, it's a Philips natural colour TV. So it's just been sitting inside a house, guys, an old farmhouse. The farmer's doing a big clear out. I think he's just sold the TV. Sold his uh, farm, guys. Look at this one, nice old battery here. Anyway, guys, we'll pull some good stuff out today. Just got back from a road trip, guys. The trailer is fully loaded. Alright. We'll go through this stuff soon guys and I'll do it another video. See ya. G'day guys, so end of the day. Time for a swim. The dogs are exhausted, so am I. Especially Cindy, but once they have this beautiful swim, we'll call them off. Get him up. Good girl. So anyway guys, while the dog's having a swim, I did pretty good today. I didn't really get too much scrap, so I can't really say I made a profit. But it's full of, full of junk in there guys, car battery, all that old books and stuff in there. The milk crates, they come in handy for my antique bottles guys. There's stuff in here for my garden. So all this beautiful wood, that wood there would be worth about bloody 400 bucks I reckon, probably more, 500 bucks. So. I can't complain about that guys, all that wood, two air cons there, so there's a fair bit of copper and brass, or copper in, in there, the aluminium radiators, and that's about it guys, these cages are for my um, garden, the plastic chemical containers sit in those, and I use them for growing my veggies, so anyway guys, it's been on the road today for about nearly six hours, and we're knackered, so we're going to go home and have a nice cup of tea and I usually get cravings for ramen noodles guys we don't call them ramen noodles or ramen noodles we call them two minute noodles where I come from so 
I'm going to go home and have some nice spicy terminate noodles. Always get cravings for them when I do these scrap runs. Alright guys, thanks for watching and hope you enjoy the video. And that's a Dombiong airstrip right here. Where I am right now is in my mate Skeeter's Dam. Just take the dogs here for a swim. The gate's open. It's right by a road, so I just usually come in here and drive in, take them for a swim for five minutes, call them down, and that's it. I'm sure Skeeter wouldn't mind. All right, guys, let's go. Good girl, Cindy. Good girl. You feel better now, don't you? G'day, guys. Billy here. Well, it's uh, Sunday today. The sun's just going down about 6 p.m. in the evening. I'm going to wake up you guys over in Europe and America and Africa and so forth. Anyway, guys, out the local rubbish dump. Some goodies here I found the other day and I've just chucked them to one side. Some old TVs. See if anyone wants them. But some goodies here, guys. Also, my neighbour Dave is a fridgey, a refrigeration mechanic. And he's just given me five beautiful air cons for scrap. Now he actually degasses all these guys for me, so that's awesome. So I've got a heap of these out of my scrap pile. And he said he can degas them for me, that way it saves me from releasing all the deadly refrigeration gas into the atmosphere. So there's some good scrap metal there, guys. So, yeah, so anyway, guys, I might actually upload this video right now, just to show you. So here's some nice old speakers What I'll put to one side, these old ones. Some golden brand, oh sorry, golden sound. They, these speakers have been here for about four days now, no one's picked them up. Nice old Philips TV here. It's been, it hasn't got a cord on, I don't think. This one here, Chrysler Panoramic 17 TV. And uh, yeah, so I've had a big couple of days, guys, scrapping. We're going to go to another, to uh, the Tinker and Harris Smith rubbish dump tomorrow. Apparently, some people have done a big move out. And dumped a heap of stuff out of the dump there, so I might find some goodies. But anyway, I'm out the dumpy on rubbish shop, my hometown tip. So, nice old cupboard here, you guys. No goodies in there. I don't want it. I don't want that, but I'll tell you what I might have. Is this bookshelf, possibly? Oh, it's heavy too. Nice jar of bookshelf, guys. Nice heavy jar of bookshelf or bottles, display and so forth. But I'll probably chuck in my, book, in my uh, shed. Found another one like this not too long ago. But anyway, people have been doing a big clear out apparently. And there's more stuff here, guys. More beautiful jar of wood there. Planks. Anyway, we'll see what's here, okay? See if there's any goodies around, guys. Anyway, I'll keep going, fellas. And I'll put this bookshelf into my um, truck. And I might grab some more of this, some of those jarred planks there. Those uh, ones, what I'm going to do guys is for my garden, these ones here, there's a heap of these out to the nibing rubbish dump as well, is uh, makes a nice garden bed, so I'm going to grab some of this nice, these ones right there, beautiful chara lengths of wood. Hopefully I can get them out, and I uh, don't think there's much else guys, I've already been out here today, scored some nice, Old stuff here the other day, or, or yesterday. Some nice old uh, historical magazines and so forth. There's some nice ones here. I was very tempted to take, guys. I did see on eBay, did a bit of research on eBay. These were selling for about, I don't know, 10 bucks each, I think. But I think they're a bit, a bit overpriced. Some odd woman's weekly magazines from uh, the 1970s. You know, it's amazing what people collect, guys. It's all history, all the celebrities back in those days. So anyway, guys, it doesn't really look much. There's probably good stuff underneath these boxes, but we'll keep going, guys. We'll grab those planks of wood, that nice bookshelf, and uh, have a look around, see if there's any other goodies. If there is, guys, I'll add it to my road trip video. So probably... <coughs> Around uh, possibly, probably, probably Tuesday, fellas, I'll upload, start uploading some good videos on my road trips. I've got about four really good road trip videos, so 
bear with me fellas I will start uploading some good videos very shortly all right guys so I'll grab that nice those planks of wood bit of nice aluminium here so those planks of wood fellas are basically the same as these ones really really heavy okay guys we'll catch you in the next couple of days probably upload a video tomorrow or something I'm going like I say I'm going to go to another road trip tomorrow and uh, yeah hopefully we'll find some nice stuff in Tinker and Harrismith and also Cochrane so three rubbish dumps I'll be visiting tomorrow guys it's going to be really really hot tomorrow about 35 degrees Celsius all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you soon see ya